Hey guys, it's Shaniqua Dasher and Kayla Dasher of Dasher Creations and welcome to All These Items Created. Bohos made of bold holders. I said bohos. Bowl holders made of canvas and fabric. Yes, 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 yes. I did a little tack, okay? So I've already tacked Kayla's a little bit, so when it's time for her to fold, it's gonna be okay. And as I show you how to tack and cut this one, um, she is going to cut out our ribbon, all right? I am? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so these are our pieces of ribbon. For each bow holder, we're gonna use three pieces of ribbon, and I'm gonna measure it, well, Kayla's gonna measure it for yeah. you. Yeah, centimeters or inches. Inches, she's gonna tell you how many inches this ribbon is. Here, you hold my stuff, I need a big workspace. All right. No, I need the whole table. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and then, canvas you're using you can use any size canvas I think I'm using a blank by blank <laughs> all right she's using a blank by blank canvas. and I'll put it below in the description Kayla has a twin oh, sorry you Wait, miss up my picture said that um, if it meets the middle it's above mm-hmm so what is it 23 inches. 23 inches, all right? So we have a 23 inch. It's in between 22 and 23. 22 and a half, yes. So the canvas we're using is 14 by 11, I believe. Yep. It is 14 by 11, and then we're using. Mrs. Gufford is the, um, what's it called? Ruler. Tape measure. Apologize. I'm sorry, Mr. Tape Measure. Good. All right, so Kayla has hers, and she's going to go ahead and cut six pieces or five more pieces of this 22 and a half inch ribbon um, and again you can make it longer or shorter whatever your choice is because you can still always mad at you. cut off more later so as she's doing that I'm going to show you how to get your fabric how to give me a large workspace <laughs> did she just do that yes I all right so I'm gonna put this over to the side all right I'm gonna show you how to center your fabric so on this Let me two more Guys, tell her how many more to make. We need six total. Okay. We'll do you have five. one already made. So how many more do you need to make? Five. Five. Okay. So our canvas is 14 by 11. Can I have that tape measure that slid to the floor? Say sorry to it first. I'm sorry, Mr. Tape Measure. Okay. All right. So our canvas is 11 by 14. So our fabric is going to be actually an inch and a half on each side bigger. So that would be three inches more across. So 11 plus three is 14. So we're gonna have a 14 by, okay, is, oh wait, yeah, yeah. Mind. 14 by 17. So your fabric should be 14 by 17. I will put it in the description box, no worries, okay? So if you are and using, if, it's hurt. let me get to the end of the table. If you are using an 11, by 14 canvas, then your fabric should be 13 by 14. And the formula for that is basically add three inches to the length and three inches to the width. All right, so you're gonna add three inches to the length and width. So if you have a 10 by 20, Kayla, and I say, if we have a 10 by 20, and I say add three inches to 10, what would that be? Three inches to 10, wait, so if we have a 10 by 20. Uh huh. And then we add a three to inches to 10, how much would that be? Mm -hmm. okay. 10 by 20, 13 by 20. 13 by 20, add three more. Um, three more to what? 20. 13, 13, wait, 
Is it a by, oh yeah, 13 by 23. Thanks, ma'am. 13 by 23 if you had a 10 by 20. All right, guys, and so then I'm going to take this and center it. Oh, come on, I need space over here. I need space too. I'm going to take it and center it and make sure that I have enough to fold over the sides that go to the back. Make sure I have enough to fold over to go to the top and make sure I have Mom, enough it's raining to fold purple. over to go to the bottom. All right, so thanks for raining. All right, so now what I'm going to do is trim the corner. So once you have this cut, you can add, if you have a Cricut maker, you can add any kind of little design. I added the unicorn to match Kayla's unicorn room that she has now. We just did a room makeover in her room. Um, and I think if you go to our Instagram, at Dasha Creations, you can see um, the progress that we made. And I'm gonna actually add some of that on my YouTube channel as well because I recorded the process of putting up the wallpaper and putting up the flowers that we did on her wall. Oh, oh, oh. She didn't know it was happening. I thought there were bugs in my room. I told her there were bugs in her room so she couldn't go in her room. Um, so she was definitely afraid and did not go in. I feel so bad about that. <laughs> all right, so now that I have this laid on here, all I'm gonna do is go to each corner and I'm gonna cut a diagonal line that leads to the corner. So if I get right here to the corner of the rectangle, I'm gonna cut a diagonal line that leads to the corner of the canvas. Why? Because we're like wrapping a gift right now, okay? So it'll be like wrapping a gift, and so I need to be able to wrap this over um, when I flip this over, okay? I'm gonna go to the corner over here and, oh, do mine this, is already cut. and do the same thing. I've already cut Kayla's for her. So that kind of so that all she'll have to do is glue when it's time to glue when she finishes. As you know, you were planning for me to do this from the start with you. And cool, of course. So I've already cut the two bottom, and what I'm gonna do just to save myself from it shifting is I'm gonna take a little dot of glue and put it on the top of the canvas right here with my Lin Lily glue gun. With your little Lin Lily glue gun, because the glue is very little right now. Yes, I need to put some more glue in there. Um, and so now it's tacked down, oh, so I don't have to worry about it shifting, okay? Eh, I just need this to cut. And I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a little tack at the top as well, so I don't have to worry about it shifting up here. And then I'll go ahead and cut those corners again. All right, so go ahead and top, cut the top corners here. And cut the corner over here. Literally from corner to the corner of the canvas. And ta-da, we're on there, okay? So now we have this beautiful cover. I'm gonna flip it over. And then this is the fun part. This is when we're going to glue it down. So literally, you're gonna run your hot glue gun all the way down and then fold it over. It's kind of like wrapping a present, yeah. but with fabric, okay? You've already cut all five? Nope. Two more to go though. Yes, because you keep taking breaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing mine that way I can help Kayla when it's time I to glue. Not hers. Taking breaks. All right, so then I've wrapped it. So now this part is glued. Easy. All right, this is a very simple project, and you can do this to create art from fabric. Um, I would use some Ankara fabric and create some art. Um, you can do anything, do word art. So I'm gonna wrap this over. All right, so now both corners are glued. Now, now that the, or both sides are glued. Now that the sides are glued, we have this little piece right here that's left over. All I'm going to do is tuck that down. All right, so you're just gonna glue that down and then you'll end up gluing the bottom. Oh my god, we don't know. We don't want that noise. I don't think anybody wants to hear that noise. Okay. Fine. All right, and then it'll keep, create this nice crisp edge. Okay. So, if you notice, some fabrics spray, and so there's two solutions we can do for that. Well, actually, there's several solutions we can do for that. For me, because this is just the back of the canvas, I'm just gonna trim them real quick. Sorry. But they will fray again. You could also use pinking shears to cut the edges and so you wouldn't have to worry about it fraying. Actually, I'm gonna show you an example of a pinking shear cut. 
so you don't have to worry about the fraying. All right, so I'm gonna take these. These are pinking shears. If you can see, they have like little teeth in them. Ah! Ah! Sorry. I just had it lined up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna trim across. Okay. All right, so the edges are cut with the pinking shears. So this is gonna keep them from fraying. I'm done. What do I do now? All right, awesome. So Kayla now has. Wait, 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 mom, stop. Okay. Yes. Oh, she, <laughs> she made it rain. Ribbons. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so now Kayla is gonna get her canvas so that she is able to. Do everything you just did? Do everything I just did, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so now Kayla is gonna flip hers over. Make sure her fabric is straight. Very good. And then you're going to, Kayla, you're going to glue the side and glue the side. Well, first glue the side and then tuck it really tight. Make sure it's tight, okay? Okay, so first, I'm gonna tightly tuck it. All right, and I don't mind that Kayla is using my Lynn Lily glue gun because it's a lot safer than some other glue guns on the market. And she does a great job. I'm actually gonna trim a little bit of this and then... What if you get free glue? There we go. So I just trimmed this little triangle piece off. So now I have this piece to tuck. So then all I have to do is glue tuck that. And then I can fold this in like a present. And then it looks a lot better. All right, so after you tuck the corners, literally we're almost done. Um, Kayla just needs to let me use the glue, the glue gun. No. Oh. No. I'm gonna help you no. celebrate. No. 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 Don't you just love me saying no over and over again? I don't. No. No. <laughs> All right. So after we tuck the top, I'm gonna show you what else we're gonna do. So not only are we gonna make it a bowl holder, but we're also going to make it a um, sunglass holder and um, something that can hold headbands if you like. So with the sunglass holder, you just need a straight piece of fabric. I use a thicker piece. This is like a glitter fabric that's kind of- If you um, like the smell of hot things, you should smell the glue gun. Kind of a faux leather underneath. So all you have to do, and I'm gonna do the first line. Hey, how'd you do that? What, how do I do what? Oh, you want my help now, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. I just say, that was just um, trial with me saying now over and over again. Okay. I think I should glue this piece just because it's hot. You're gonna have to touch it, and I don't want you touching it. I don't want you. I don't want you to burn yourself. Okay. That's the only thing I don't like about the glue gun, it has to charge. But the best thing about it is it's wireless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta charge it so I can have some bathroom. Oh my lord, this one doesn't have a glue stick at all, look. You can go in my glue stick drawer. Thank you. Come on. I just right. wanted to see this. Look down. at this, it's an empty thing. Nothing in it, and I've used it before. I'm definitely adding it below the line. And this is for sunglasses. I'm probably only gonna do one line. Yes, because it's for sunglasses. So I'm only gonna do one. No. Oh. Oh. All right, so I'm flipping it over. And literally adding a little glue, glue hot here and a little glue here, and then you can have my gun. I can have yours now. Uh huh. Here, here, here. You get so much that ran out of glue. That's why I like the longer glue sticks. All right. So I just put a little piece of glue here and a little piece of glue here. Oh. You want to make sure it's straight because it just got me wrong. 
look creepy. So there you go. And then here's some sunglasses so you can see how that works. And then we still have to add the bottom part for the bows because it is a bow holder, duh. But just so you can get a good idea. All right. Oh, lips. Oh, Lord. Right, so let's get to it. Alright, you so, can do this without me. While, while Kayla works on hers, I'm gonna finish this up. Alright, so now we need our three pieces of ribbon that Kayla has so beautifully cut for us. Oh, thank you. And the ribbon is going to go at the bottom of the bow holder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue, put it on the ribbon, and I, just because I want it to be extra secure, I'm gonna go put glue here and then I'm going to tuck the glue down inside of the canvas. And then I'll glue again right here so that it's secure. Do so I'm going to do one here, one right. here, and one in the center. What yes. What if we want to do a remakeover? I don't understand what you're saying. I said, what if we want to do another makeover? Makeover of what? Your room? Mm -hmm. Then we would just take this color off and do it again. All right? What about the mirror that we're going to get to? All right, let's charge this a little bit for Kayla. I'm not even doing it. But it needs to be charged. All right, I'm gonna tuck this down. I'm at the very far corner. Likely will get glue all over my fingers, but I'm gonna tuck yes, it down. All right, and while we do this, please make sure that you go down right at the bottom right now and take a moment to like and subscribe so you can get more DIYs with me and Kayla. All right, yeah, I'm gonna take another little piece of glue right here and tuck it on down in the center. There we go, tuck it, tuck it. And then I'm gonna take one more last piece of glue and I'm gonna tuck it down on the other corner. I've done it, this is when I do. do my if you pattern. find that it's uneven, I when just you need look, some glue. You need some glue? No, I made a banana. All right, I'm gluing right here on the edge just to kind of give it a double piece of security. There we go, here you go. And ta-da, you have your beautiful bow holder. If you have never worked with ribbon before um, and you notice that sometimes ribbon frays at the end, all you're gonna do is trim it and then take a lighter and put the lighter at the end of the ribbon and that's called heat sealing, okay? So you do that for each piece of your ribbon, okay? I will take a highlighter and heat seal mine. I am back. Right when we finish. And that, my friends, is how you make a bow holder. You take your bows and attach them at the end. Hers can be the example because I didn't have enough time to do that. That's okay, you'll finish it. Yeah, you'll, you'll finish it. So, thank you guys for joining us for quality time. And create. I am Shaniqua Dasher and this is Kayla Dasher of Dasher Creations. Make sure you like and subscribe. How did you like this craft? Tell us below and tell us if you want to give it a try and what fabric you'll be using. All right, until next time, we can't wait to create with you. Bye.